Hi, this is Heather from Heather's Homeschool, and today I'm going to go over one of the Moving Beyond the Page units, and it's a language arts unit, and it goes along with the book Poppy. So this unit is called Poppy, and the book is by Avi, is the author's name, and we really enjoyed this book. There are four or five other books in this series, and they're all great, but this one uh, from Moving Beyond the Page all goes along with the, I believe it's the second book in the series. But Poppy um, is a fun book. It's about a mouse and an owl. So here is the table of contents. It talks about what you're going to cover each of the lessons. And here they go over how to use the Moving Beyond the Page curriculum. There's concepts, units, and lessons, vocabulary, spelling, daily journal, required literature. And here, unit one, it talks about the required books, and in this one, it's just Poppy. And materials list. There's a bunch of stuff listed here. We didn't do some of this stuff, but um, anyways, this is the this is the supplies list. Get it all on there. Okay, this is the review sheet that covers what exactly. Uh, you're going to go over in this unit study. So lesson one, preparing for Poppy, talks about fantasy, protagonist, antagonist, setting. Mr. Alcax is lesson two, go over conjunctions. Uh, there's owl pellets. This comes with a package of owl pellets for the kids to dissect, and that's really fun. Goes over paragraphs, quotation marks, synonyms, antonyms, diamante poem, which I hadn't known what that was until this unit. <laughs> so that was kind of fun. Alliteration, summary, uh, the word delicate, permission, faint, carcass, slumber, resemblance, cautiously, varieties, uh, luscious, astonished, and attempt. These are all words that uh, you can go over with your child. And prefix. And over here, a suffix, and adding ed, ing to words, and an epitaph. I'll go over that as well. So preparing for Poppy. This is two days. This is lesson one. And from here, I'm just going to flip through it, and you can see what, what is included here. This was fun, this mouse research. Great Horned Owl research, forest animals. She got to draw a picture of forest animals here. This is lesson two. It's covered here. You can choose options. You don't have to do both options. There's option one that's a little bit easier and option two. A lot of times you're given two options. These are reading comprehension questions that go along with it. Hopefully this is not too dark. <laughs> poppy puppet. Okay, that was fun. My daughter made a poppy puppet and a Mr. Alcax puppet. That was fun. This goes along with the puppet. Combining sentences. This is option two, the one that was a little bit more challenging. This is unit three. Can you even see that? More reading comprehension questions for the next chapters. Paragraphs. She cut these out and put, um, put the paragraph in order. Cause and effect. Synonyms, antonyms. That's option one. This is option two. A little bit harder, more challenging. Choose the right word.
diamond tape poem. And then she got to make her own diamond tape poem. More reading comprehension questions. Went over alliteration. This was option one. And here's option two, a little bit more challenging. Still both very good. This is adding in descriptions about one of the characters, descriptive words. Um, okay. More reading comprehension, crossword puzzle, option one, option two. Porcupine puppet that went along with the other two puppets. And then she also made a really big map of the setting and we have that up on our wall. So that was fun. Um, this is the cycle of power that is within the story. More reading comprehension questions, prefixes and suffixes. This is option one and option two. And then she got to make her face on here. We, we actually made copies and did it um, that way. So I didn't have to muck up the book and I can resell it. This is the battle. This is the last chapter, I think. You can see what's going on here. More questions, adding E-D-I-N-G. And then a writing project. So paragraph organizer, paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three. This was a good way for her to get her thoughts out on paper. Good graphic organizer. I Maybe, I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but that worked for her. And then she was able to look at this paragraph rubric and go and correct her paper. New beginnings. This was the last one. Questions and a story tree. She added in story details, words to describe Mr. Ockax, the theme, resolution, illustrator, characters, antagonist. She liked that. And then she got to make her own tree and put things on it uh, that were important to her. And then there's a, actually, maybe I went too fast there. This is the final project. There's the plot diagram that we did. And then this was fun. She had to do this one in the center and then got to pick one of these other ones, one of these other projects to do. Or two more actually to make a tic-tac-toe. I think we only ended up doing two. And there is part two of that. So that is the unit study. We enjoyed it. Hopefully that helps so you can see what's in inside of the unit. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.